Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, so I have just finished in the bathroom. I've just finished washing my hair and sorting everything out for the evening. One of the things I always like to do is because I use a lot of heat throughout my hair is I like to take time and really look after my hair. Now, whether that be like a leave-in spray or whether that be an oil, just to try and put some life and some health and some vitality back into my hair and ultimately keep it healthy and in good condition so I can carry on styling my hair and just keeping everything super healthy because I really enjoy styling my hair. It's on the finer side. It is fine textured. Um, in places it's thicker, in some places it's a little bit thinner. But ultimately, what I really like to do is just keep my hair as healthy as possible. Now, the product which is helping me do that currently at the moment is by Matrix, and this is the Total Results 20 Miracle Creator. Now, I actually bought this product for my mum, and she has been using it for a little while, and she has a much thicker hair than me, and it's a lot longer, almost waist length. Um, and I believe my mum's hair is coloured, it's fine texture, but she's got an awful lot of it. So this stuff is absolutely amazing for her. For me, I thought I would give it a try. It sits in our family bathroom and that can just be for anyone in my ha uh, household just to my family to pick up try and very often we all use different conditioners different sprays different sort of shampoos and things just to really get the most out of different sort of hair care and very often we're always chopping and changing and trying different products and this is something I really enjoy to use and I really love sort of reviewing different products so that's what we're doing today so this is the miracle creator and this is a multitasking treatment it's 20 benefits it's 200 mils cost wise it's around the 10 pounds mark which I think is fair, absolutely. Um, it's certainly worth it. There are one or two things which I would not call a negative, but a little bit of a, a not so much of a positive uh, sort of point. But however, that could necessarily be my hair type, which we will go into. So I'm just going to go through on the back here. So Miracle Maker Hair Multitasking Treatment. Now, for me, this is more of like a priming spray, your um, sort of heat protectant, your sort of hair um, sleep to make your hair really nice and sleek, a little bit of a volumizer perhaps, puts that health, that vitality, that sort of repair back into the hair, all of those things. When I see a product and it's got all of these benefits, it's telling me on the front here, 20, I don't need to look at it because very often if I'm buying it, I can think, okay, so I know it's going to be a heat protector. I know it's going to be looking at moisture. It's going to be looking at damaged hair. It's going to be for shine and health. So I expect to see those things in the product when I buy it. And lo and behold, it it is for a mixture of those things. So we're just going to read through what it actually tells us. So this is the Miracle Maker Hair Multitasking Treatment has 20 beautifying benefits for your hair. A leave-in for nourishment, boosts shine, smooths the cuticle, helps prevent breakage from brushing, adds moisture, helps prevent heat damage, helps fight frizz, helps even out por uh, porosity, uh, minimizes damage, detangles, conditions likely, helps improve appearance of split ends, and helps soften, control flyaways, reduces dryness, makes blow dry process easy, uh, easier rather, helps correct roughness, helps shield against external uh, aggressors, improves manageability, and primes hair for styling. And then it's got here to use spray product on towel dried hair, comb through, and style as usual. Okay, so we have discussed and we've gone through what it says on the bottle here. So as you can as you can as you can tell, it's got a lot of benefits here. Now, when I looked at this product when I bought it by my mum, I thought perfect. Very often I'm looking at things for my channel because I love to review different products. And very often as a gift, I will buy products for my mum, I'll buy products for my dad, my brothers, my nan. Um, so this I happen to have the pleasure to try. So I've used it for a little while now, on and off. Not every single day, just every now and again, but it has certainly given my hair some benefits. So I have highlighted hair, which you can't tell because it's wet at the moment. Well, you might be able to, just towards at the ends, it's grown out quite a bit at the moment. Um, I haven't styled my hair by the way, so do excuse how it looks. Um, this is me of an evening. Um, and I, I do go on to style my hair of an evening sometimes. Um, you may find that quite strange when I'm having some health problems at the moment, and unfortunately, it may well just be that one of these nights I need to go into the hospital um, just because I'm waiting to have an operation, having some problems at the moment as well. Um, but keeping it upbeat and positive, um, this product is really, really good. So, a lot of what we have uh, mentioned from the bottle here, I'm just going to go through. I'm just going to say whether or not I agree or whether or not I feel that it could be a little bit better. So 
Leaves nourishment. Yes, it absolutely does add nourishment into the hair. As I say, my hair is on the finer side, so unfortunately I do find it a little bit heavy, but however, being my mum, she's got much thicker hair, it was fantastic for her. So I do think if you've got fine or thinning hair, just be a little bit careful if you choose to use a product like this one, uh, the Miracle Creator, because it could just be a little bit too heavy for your hair. It is sometimes for me, but very often what I like to do, I can just and just get my hair back into sort of like a top knot, a men's top knot, of course. Um, now, I wouldn't necessarily wear that style out, but very often if I'm studying or if I'm busy at home, it's great just to spray some leave-in sort of sprays for, for uh, sort of condition, for health, just just to quickly tie it back um, and get on with my studying if I've got a busy day at work or working from home throughout the coronavirus pandemic. So perfect, and I use a spray like this. But if I wanted to use it sort of as a primer for heat, I just have to be really, really careful because my hair is very fine and the ends are a little bit thinner. Um, just because I do have my hair cut into sometimes and it is bleached towards the end. It's great for the uh, looking after the sort of the porous sort of areas. So if you would, if you're stuck at what that necessarily means, because I know sometimes I've been, if your hair feels quite fragile at the ends and you do get some breakage, it's pretty, it's pretty sure that your hair is a little bit porous and it's a little bit weaker. So this just helps to try and repair those bonds, those keratin bonds of what our hair is made up of. Um, proteins, it really tries to pull strength back into the hair and it does do this. I do find it slightly cakey, so just be a little bit careful on how much you use, but if you use it sparingly, it is a fantastic product. Um, so let's get back to what we were talking about here. So it boosts shine, it ups absolutely does do that. As I say, just be careful away from the roots because I find it a little bit heavy on my hair type, but for thicker hair types or curly hair types, it would probably be absolutely fantastic. Smooths, smooths the cuticle of the hair. Now, yes, it does do that and it does. My hair being it's on the fine side can get quite frizzy. Um, especially sort of if I've let my hair dry a bit before I've gone and used the blow dryer to, to give myself a smooth out style. Um, so it does really do that. It really smooths the cuticle and you do get a really uniformed and a really nice look from it as well, which is great. It helps prevent breakage. Now that I can't really comment because I'll be honest, I haven't used it long enough. Um, but I do find it's got some great ingredients which look after the hair, which I'm going to go through in just a moment. And um, so that is a real, uh, real good bonus, but it is a nice product for that. It says breakage for free brushing. I can't can't comment on that because my hair's not long enough, but um, I think that when you're saying a product looks after the hair through breakage, I think you have to incorporate heat in there as well. Um, it says it's a heat protectant, but of course it doesn't have a temperature of up to sort of any heat. So I'm just going to say that it's a general sort of protectant. So just be a little bit careful how you approach with sort of brushing and styling, whether that be for women or men's hair, because of course this product is predominantly aimed at women's hair, but why wouldn't a man be able to use this if you're using those pompadour styles? You use a lot of heat, you're blow drying the hair upwards to get a lot of volume in the hair. You're using heat all the time if you have those sort of slide, side uh, slick looks off to the side. If, the, if you're a man, your hair's a bit longer, um, you may well use a straightener throughout your hair as well. So this would be great for that too. If you're a woman, you've got those amazing layers, that glamorous looking style, that huge blowout look of uh, having loads, tons of volume and things. This would be great for that. But of course, just stay clear of the roots. Um, but just moving on, uh, it certainly helps against fight against frizz. It helps against the porosity, which we've looked at, minimizes damage. Okay, we can't necessarily say that 100%, but it certainly does um, uh, look after the hair. It gives a nice sleekness. Again, sometimes it can be a little bit heavy on my hair type being fine, but it does certainly add health and vitality. It certainly detangles the hair and it really does. My hair, because it's highlighted at the end, it'll be fine, can tangle uh, very quite easily. So my hair is about down to my chin in the front here, and then in the back it's uh, quite a bit shorter, um, but I am growing it out now and I've recently had not so much of a great haircut, unfortunately, there's a bit of a miscommunication with the hairdresser who's cut my hair for a long time, but it's growing out and it's growing now, which is the main thing. Um, and this is really, really great for, as I say, if I have a busy day and I just want to slick my hair back with a comb or a brush into those 1910s, 1920s styles in very, because it's longer now, very often it would just stay there. Um, of course, it doesn't hold, but it just gives that nice sort of air of sleekness and health and vitality. And if I want to just run a comb through it, I can. So that's great for that as well. And if I want to, I can put it in sort of like a man's uh, top knot as well, sort of at the back here. And that goes really, really nice and it keeps lots of health and vitality in my hair too. Okay, so it does soften the hair. Absolutely, it does. Appearance of split ends, I don't have any, so I can't really comment on that, unfortunately. Um, but it does, the blonde bits on the end of my hair can get a little bit rough and a little bit... Uh, 
I don't want to go as far as saying scorched, but of course if I use heat in my hair and you go blonde uh, in places, very often you can get some heat damage in the hair. This is going to really look after that as well, but in terms of split ends, I haven't got that, but I would imagine this would be good at keeping them at bay. Of course, I don't believe a product repairs split ends, so I think the only way to get rid of that is just a fresh haircut. Um, but this product certainly absolutely looks at the health and vitality towards the ends of your hair too. It says here it helps soften the hair. It certainly does that. Controls flyaways. Now, this is where the heaviness sort of comes from in the product. Yes, it controls flyaways, but it also just makes hair a little bit flat in the roots. Now, for me, my hair is really quite fine in places, um, but I've got a quite a lot of it. But when I create my sort of pompadour looks or quite ununiformed sort of pompadour looks of sort of a slight side swoop, lots of volume on top and then off to the side, very often I find if I use this product, I can't get as much hype as what I normally would with it, um, just because it's a little bit more heavier, um, just because of the ingredients in here as well. So just be a little bit mindful of that too, that it does go against a little bit counterintuitive when you're creating volume. Um, okay, so let's move on. Reduces dryness. It certainly does that. Um, it does make blow drying easier because it's sleeker, but I find it does just take me a little bit longer blow drying my hair through, um, which is a little bit strange being it's supposed to help against blow drying. What you do find is that you get a real nice sleekness to the blow dry when you're going through your hair, um, but it does just take a little bit longer. So do have patience out of anything. That work of art, your hairstyle, can sometimes take a little bit longer. And for me, with a product like this, it just makes it a little bit longer. But certainly worth it, I have to admit, just be careful away from the roots because as I say, and I've said many times, it can just be a little bit heavy in places. Okay, so improves manageability, absolutely. It helps as a shield against external uh, aggressors. I can't really say because I use styling products and sort of spray, so that I wouldn't be able to comment on, but it does keep my hair in really good condition. Um, so I would I would say that yes, possibly, absolutely it does do that. It improves manageability because it calms sort of the hair down, it's not very frizzy, it's smooth, it's sleek. So yes, absolutely, I would agree with that. It primes hair for styling. Yes, it absolutely does. So I imagine if you've got long hair, then fantastic in the lengths for really sort of getting that real nice sleek curl possibly or that amazing sort of blow out when you're taking your time um that sort of amazing uh blow dry style i'm trying to say there um or of course with men's hair if you're sleeking it right back or even just like an undone style i've got here with a blow dry style um a few sprays of this through sparingly fantastic and makes a really nice sort of sleek look so really quite cool and quite a nice fresh healthy feel to the hair as well through this just of course be careful you don't use too much okay so i think that covers all of it so i've sprayed a few sprays of this through my hair and what i've just done is just grabbed a comb and then i've just literally combed it through and then just passed a comb through and then that's pretty much it for the for this evening just to keep my hair nice and healthy ready for the morning to go in and use probably a heated sort of appliance and just do style my hair, whether or not I wet my hair down or whether I may even uh, wash it through a conditioner, which I like doing sometimes not to use shampoo, but just to wet my hair through with a little bit of conditioner just so that I can use a blow dryer and get that really nice, fresh style uh, first thing in the morning tomorrow. OK, so I really hope you've enjoyed this clip. I certainly have. As I say, there's a few negatives just in terms of that it is a little bit heavy in places. And I think that brings us quite uh, nicely on to the ingredients. And if I look on the ingredients, well, I can just pinpoint out that there is coconut oil in here and there is a other sort of fruit oils in here as well as some other sciencey ingredients. There's, so there's sweet almond oil in here. There's Prunus uh, oil in here. We've got, uh, I believe that's argan oil. Forgive me, I haven't got my glasses on. Um, and we've got coconut oil in here as well. So coconut oil is a little bit heavy in places on some products. And for finer hair, yes, it can be fantastic at getting nourishment and health and vitality. But if you're using it sort of as a styling spray, just be careful and approach with caution because it can be on finer hair types just a little bit too heavy. But there are some great ingredients in here and it certainly is a product which I would buy again, and certainly one I would recommend for styling men and women's hair. Both fine, thick, curly, whatever, give it a try, so I certainly recommend it. Okay, so thank you very much indeed for watching my clip. I hope you've really enjoyed that, I certainly have. I'm very conscious that I do my clips and I'm always sort of on point with my hairstyles and things, and I'm always sort of well-groomed and things, so I just wanted this to be, this is me sort of coming out of the bathroom, everything sort of from scratch, to be quite honest with you. Um, I would never ever go out with not styled hair because that's where I get my confidence from, I'll be quite honest with you. Um, and I would not feel confident with my hair sort of just sort of freshly washed and sort of just sort of air dried. Um, 
with its own natural texture. I really like a lot of volume in my hair or sort of passing a straighten through my hair. Lots of free spray, lots of sort of root sprays, those type of things to get the volume and thickness in my hair. Um, but yeah, really, really glad that I've done this clip and I hope you've enjoyed that. And I would certainly, I would certainly recommend the Matrix uh, range. Anyway, there is a volumizing spray, which I absolutely love, which I have done a review of that one. I will add that on at the clip at the end. Do take a look at that one. Um, but ultimately, fantastic brand, really great product. And I really hope that you've enjoyed this clip and that you'd possibly try this one out. Okay, so thank you very much indeed for watching, and until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.